a double organ transplant recipient from Western Connecticut, stepping up to help a Bridgeport College student who needs the gift of life. Here's Frank Recchia. When Hurricane Sandy ripped across eight countries in October of 2012, causing $70 billion in damage, it left 233 people dead. But one of those victims gave the gift of life, a kidney, to then 13-year-old Destiny Savario. I didn't really fully understand the responsibility of it at least not until I got older. Destiny, who's now 21 and lives with her parents in Bridgeport, is a gifted young writer who will be heading off to college in the fall to study journalism. She'd like to study abroad for a year. I want to go to Japan for a summer. The only thing is that kidney she got from a Hurricane Sandy victim failed after seven years and had to be taken out due to infection, putting Destiny right back in the path of some very stormy weather. I know I was in the ambulance and I couldn't see and I know they ended up saying I had a seizure which turned into a stroke. Destiny's been on dialysis for the past four years and the aspiring screenwriter knows there will be no happy endings, certainly no studying overseas, unless she gets another gift of life and the waiting is not easy. I get calls for transplants and I get hopeful and they fall through and it is kind of um. It is kind of disheartening because it's it's already hard enough. I recently met Destiny um, through an introduction of Frank Recchia, and my heart went out to her. I can completely relate to what she's been going through. I myself personally spent seven years on dialysis. News 12 Connecticut bringing Destiny together today with double organ transplant recipient Jen Benson of New Canaan. I feel awesome from the bottom of my heart. Benson, the founder of Transplant Journey Inc., a nonprofit helping people secure the gift of life, recently helped another News 12 viewer from Bridgeport, 60 year old Gilbert Villanueva, get a kidney transplant. Now, Benson has her sights set on getting one for this young patient. I couldn't help but feel we need to do something for her. After talking to her, she's not only been a great resource, but definitely a great inspiration. Two organ transplant recipients coming together this 4th of July weekend so one can give the other the independence of good health, with Jen saying she's proud to be an instrument of destiny. Please, please, please step forward and, and make these dreams come true for this young girl who's amazing and bright and looking for a little bit of help. In Bridgeport, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.